like millions of Americans. It first started when I was uh, 25, came on just suddenly. Molly Sager Harville woke up one day and admitted she was living with chronic pain. I would have worsening attacks of pain when I would vacuum or mop or do anything strenuous. The pain was on the right side of her back. Doctors thought it was her gallbladder, then kidney stones. She tried acupuncture, chiropractors, nothing worked. Everybody just kind of threw up their hands and said, we don't know what this is, or they thought I was a drug seeker. The pain meds Molly started taking were so strong, some hospitals don't carry them. I was numb and depressed and had anxiety. Molly hit rock bottom and found herself at a support group. Call it divine intervention. My first day there, I was sort of telling everybody my story. In the middle of it, she said, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but I have what you have. I have LPHS. Man, where do you want to go to lunch? She is Andy. Four years ago, the same pain led to a diagnosis called loin pain hematuria and to Dr. Richard Dickerman. Normal nerve fibers that go to the kidney become aggravated, if you will, and produce an ongoing pain syndrome over the kidney. And he said, oh yeah, I think you're going to be a good candidate. You're doing that. Yes. Dr. Dickerman, who has transplanted more than 3,000 kidneys at Methodist Dallas over the years, had a solution called autotransplantation. He would surgically slide Molly's kidney from its origin to her groin, essentially making her the donor and recipient of her own kidney. But there was something more that made Molly's operation really special. It was done totally robotic without any large incision. A first in North Texas and a major step in transplantation. Color. At the controls, Dr. Alejandro Mejia. So the key is obviously to connect the kidney in a different location in a way that the kidney is going to survive and do okay. You look so different. You're so happy. The two and a half hour surgery was a success and Molly was back at her McKinney home in three days, this time without pain. I can do pretty much anything. Um, I can drive, clean my house and things like that that I couldn't do before. Finally, freedom in her body after 15 years. I'm so excited to go camping again. Feeling again after years of numbness, thanks to a support group. It's the least I could do, I love you, kid. A woman named Andy and the higher power that connected them. Sonia Azad, Channel 8 News.